Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw examples based on the distance formula between two points. Today, we will see what are the common mistakes one can commit while solving questions based on the distance formula. If the point P, 2, minus 1, is equidistant from the points Q, A, 7, and R, minus 3, A, then what will be the value of A from the following options? To solve this question by the distance formula, pause the video and then match your answer. From the question, we get to know that point P is equidistant from the points Q and R. Let's make an imaginary picture of it, which somewhat looks like this. Can you tell how can you find the value of A from PQ and PR? Correct. We will use the distance formula for this. The points P and Q in the distance formula and by keeping the values of points P and R, we get a value of A is equal to 7. That is, option 2 is the correct answer. If you have selected option 1, then it's a good try, but this is the wrong answer. If you use the distance formula, then in place of the square root of the square of x2 minus x1 plus the square of y2 minus y1, we put the square root of x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1. because of which you get a statement without a variable which is impossible. If you have selected option 3, then it is also a good try. But this is also the wrong answer. Because in place of square root of the square of x2 minus x1 plus the square of y2 minus y1, we put the square root of the square of x2 minus y2 plus x1 minus y1 and on the same basis you solve it further. Because of which you get the wrong answer. Hence, we hope that you must have understood why in this example Option 2 is the correct answer and the rest are wrong.